ill. So oh, that's, that's an example of decriminalization, which that's something that happened recently. There was a uh, you know a live PD. Everyone loves to watch that, and it was in Oklahoma City, and somebody was getting pulled over, and he had a bag of seeds. That was it, and the cop was like, "Yeah, you know the the basic gist of her, what." she meant was just this is sketchy and i don't like it yeah and she started like just kind of kind of riffing because she didn't know to a t like what's this, i just think you're not supposed to here? have this so we're just gonna take it away from you and yeah you know i don't think you get arrested but oh they just confiscated it that was they confiscate, confiscated his seeds and supposedly like uh, like an article I saw, it was about you know he may get them back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But she was she was taking his card. He had a medical medical marijuana card, and oh. she was reading off of the back of it, going. See, Wait, he had a medical card, and she confiscated his seat. Yes, this was the problem with it. Well, so, that's not yeah on the up and up. Yeah, so that exactly. So she's reading off the back of the card, and it says you know you can have up to like you've said before six plants. So, yeah, there's so like no seeds. limit yeah. on how many seeds. And she's the like, see there, that, that's six plants. You've got this huge bag oh, of seeds she's here. Counting like, the, trying to count the seeds. Sure, that, the that's another reason. That's she, not how the law works. Yeah, she yeah. just there's all sorts of reasons to just I'm gonna take this shit and it's mine now and shame, shame, shame. I don't interesting. You know, he had yeah. seeds and she was confused yeah. by that. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, hey, so, well law enforcement needs training. I mean these yeah. laws change and Yeah. There's a, a lot, lot of laws a out lot there they need to know that. There <laughs> about, was people so. who were just, you know, downright outraged, which uh-huh. is totally justified. Well, they and there's some people who are just there. like, she, you know, she's she's fucking trying her best. I, it, you know, I I get it, but just, you know, he didn't, yeah. you know, before his ass is as fucking in jail. Yeah, yeah. You know, that might have been a felony or something. I don't know. What yeah, the charge would have been. Oh for yeah, seeds. shit, yeah. probably in Oklahoma. They probably would have slapped him with like intent to. Intent to cultivate or some crazy like <laughs> yeah, you're, a, you're going away for 25 years, buddy. You were within uh, 20 miles of a church. And you have 20 school. seeds in a little ziplock. There's line. another charge. Getting yeah. you're going away for good time for good. Yeah, yeah but you know, people yeah. Are, well, that's the people, thing, man. Do you want to? There's trust... a lot of ins and outs to the law. That yeah. How are we going to expect law enforcement to know? I mean, they need to know. Yeah, that's what. Are you going to trust? Complicated. Whenever you get pulled over. Is it going to go down? I would it, man. I think, yeah. I, think, I think there's even stuff out there saying, like, uh, legal advisors, like attorneys saying, you know, you still want to try to pass under the radar as much as you can. Don't don't be throwing smoke in people's faces. And sure. And you should, I don't think you should be doing signals. that anyway. It's just like, you yeah. know, DUI, smoking exactly. while you're, you're not, driving. It's treated just the same as alcohol for purposes of DUI. So yeah. smoking and driving is a no-no in the but state of Oklahoma. 